Hey guys, it's Amanda. What's up? I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I am so excited for this video. I'm finally doing a come thrift with me. It's been a minute. I know on my last thrift haul, you guys were all like, where was the vlog? Like, why were you filming as you were thrifting? And honestly, I've just been so excited to thrift that the thought of filming it, and like, I also feel like thrifting has turned into such a competition. Filming just adds a whole nother element and I'm trying to look through the racks at rapid speed. I just needed to like go a couple times on my own <laughs> before bringing the camera. Since my last thrift haul, I actually haven't gone thrifting. I went as soon as the thrift stores opened after like we got out of our lockdown in Toronto. I went the first day and then the second day and then I haven't gone since because the lines are just so crazy. Easy one and a half hour line and that's if you line up before the thrift store even opens. I just haven't really been about going but I knew I wanted to do a come thrift with me video hence what we're doing today. Okay? I was like gonna try and lie and act like I'm going thrifting right now but I also I already went. I went yesterday and I filmed the whole thing. I just didn't have time to film an intro before going, but at least I can guarantee you that I found some really, really good stuff. I don't know why I just didn't expect to find anything. I was going to go to two value villages, but I spent two hours at least at the one that I went to and I found... I spent like $200, okay? So we only did the one value village. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna just go on to the thrift trip. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy. The way this is actually one of my best thrift trips and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I remembered to bring a bag to donate because if you didn't know, you get 20% off when you donate any amount to Value Village. I grabbed a big cart. I feel like I'm never gonna make the mistake of just getting one of the smaller baskets again because as you guys will see, the cart gets full. <laughs> I pick up basically everything I see that I like and then I go through it afterwards. Recently, I've been going to the women's jeans as the first section, which is not something I normally do, but I feel like because low-rise jeans are just so popular now, I just don't wanna risk not finding low-rise jeans, you know? Like that is the priority every single time I go thrifting. Sometimes there's absolutely nothing, but this time I feel like the same person donated every single pair of jeans that I bought. I also remember to check out the shoes on top of whatever section I'm looking at. I don't really pay much attention to sizing because people put things back and it's often in the wrong spot anyways. Okay, so these silver jeans were the first pair that I found and then obviously I begged those. After finding that pair, I found another one which looks very similar but it has a darker wash and it also has slits on the hem of the jeans. And then this is another pair, which is like a boot cut. I picked these up and did not think like, okay, I'm gonna buy all of them, but bitch, I bought every single pair. These were cute, but the cuffs on the bottom, I'm just not about the tapered look. I thought this tag was crazy, but they weren't a low rise and I just like did not, didn't need them. Scanning through until I find another pair of silver fucking jeans, okay. And then I went to the woman's hoodies, which I thought this was a really cute pink velour moment. I didn't need it. I've been gravitating so much towards neutrals lately. I was so shocked to find this Adidas jacket just because the condition of it was perfect. There's not one stain on it. The colorway with the silver is exactly my style right now. Then I went to the women's pants section. I'm not joking. I manifested these pants for real. I've seen these exact pants worn on a couple people and I just really like the fit of them, the seam down the front, and then I found a brown pair. I'm like, is this a joke? At this point, I kind of realized that I hadn't checked out the jewelry, which is usually my top priority. The little geometric silver ring is super tarnished, but I did end up buying it and polishing it, and it's the cutest ring I own. Now, the men's shorts section is where I get my jorts. So if you are looking for jorts, <laughs> if you're looking for shorts, but if you want longer shorts, whether it's denim, these cargo style ones, just check out the men's shorts section. Another section that's obviously seasonal is women's bathing suits. It was so weird because there was many bikini bottoms from this brand Unica, which is actually a Toronto 
brand, they do handmade bathing suits, so I'm imagining that these were like fuck ups or something that they just couldn't sell so they donated and then I found this brand new little ruffle swim skirt which is so cute so many brand new swimsuits so this one's also by Unica find the women's tops, same with the men's tops, those are the most time consuming sections just because you really have to look at every single thing. I loved both of these ruched shirts I found. I like the style of this shirt but the Justin Bieber purple was not doing it for me. I've never seen Brandy Melville at the thrift store, so I had to take a video of it. I thought it was kind of funny. And then this bag was the only purse that I ended up finding, which I am okay with because look at it. Literally look at it. I think I might dye it black depending on how styling it goes. The lingerie section is also one of my absolute favorite sections. I picked up a bunch of slips, a bunch of neutral tank tops, comfy tops that I'm so excited to style and you guys will definitely be seeing. Women's skirts, again, amazing section. This was a tiny micro mini, so I did end up leaving it behind. I'm looking at it now and I'm like, bitch, you should have just bought it, but this top grabbed my eye just because the style of it is so unique. I love the asymmetrical cut on it, the cowl neck, it's different from anything I have, and I feel like it's a very formal shirt, which I don't have many of. This also caught my eye, and then I saw it was from Zara, so I put it back on the rack. I'm keeping my eye open for fall things, but I'm not really eager to buy any fall jackets quite yet. Looking at these now, I hate these. The Dickies band is actually so ugly, but anyways, these are capris. I thought these were so cool, but you can't really tell on video. They're super worn and pilly, so I just left those behind. I always get comments asking about white tank tops. The thrift store is a really good place to find them. I've also been wanting some oversized waffle knits. I've been wanting a nice white dress shirt that I could just wear as a throwover for a while, but a lot of them are super structured. This one was from Uniqlo and it's a super lightweight cotton, so I was happy to find that. I found another pair of silver jeans. I know it's a little bit excessive, but bro. These ones are super similar to my True Religions with the thick white stitching, and these are my favorite pair out of all of the ones I got. These guest heels were so adorable, but not my size whatsoever, so I left those for somebody else. The last section I hit was the women's capris. At this point, I was like, I can no longer look at anything. I had probably spent at least an hour and a half in the thrift store. I always go to a private area of the store. I'm saying private as there's literally a woman in the background, but like, somewhere that's not busy to just go through all of the clothes and I really just ask myself, do I absolutely need this? It's so easy to overconsume when thrifting just because everything is super cheap, but I know from my past experience that it's just not worth it to buy something if it doesn't fit you properly or if you actually don't think you're gonna wear it more than at least 10 to 20 times. Like everything I buy ends up being an essential piece in my wardrobe or at least I intend for it to be because I just simply do not have room for clothes that I don't fuck with 100%. Since there's no change rooms right now at Value Village, I kind of have a constant cycle of exchanging clothes that don't end up fitting me and then shopping more. So I still have to exchange some of the things I bought during this thrift trip that didn't end up fitting me or I just decided I don't need. I just go through everything. I thought I would let you guys just watch me do that, look at everything so intensely, and then decide what I need and what I don't need. Tell me if you ever 
ever seen magic? Have you seen it? Tell me, have you ever had a passion? Have you ever? Would you change the world if it could happen? Tell me, are you really about that action? Do you want to be my baby? Loving baby, hold my promise, hold you firm We can slide through the city, grow from things that we gon' learn I'm not saying it's too simple, but I'm saying it's my turn I ain't playing with you, <laughs> with them games with some The games. haul for this video will be coming soon Honestly, if you check out my TikTok, there's already a little bit of a haul posted on there, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you a lot, and I will see you in my next video. Different girls in different cities had some birdies, but they flew. She want envy in some shoes. Want my baby in the coop. Put my family in the mansion while I'm grinding in the booth. I can't never follow suit. I just had to stand out. Yeah, I built this on my own. Never had my hand.